Juno, who was both the sister and the wife of Jupiter, the master of the gods. Juno was also the goddess of wedding, protectress of married couples, protectress of women in labor. The temple of Juno was built between um, 450 and 470 BC, more or less then destroyed by the Byzantines, the Christians, in the 6th century AD, as well as most of the other temples here in Agrigento, and it was partly reassembled, reconstructed from original stones in 1787. Uh, anyway, it had almost the same uh, dimensions and the same structure as the Temple of Concordia, but uh, the Temple of Concordia, the next one, that is complete, we'll try to imagine the outside aspect of this kind of monuments. Well, here, although the temple is closed to the, to the public, we can try to describe and to imagine the inside structure of the temples and the way the Greeks used their temples. You see that inside the temple, there are the remains of the cella. Cella, C-E-L-L-A, was the interior of a Greek temple, and it was like this. Look at this floor plan of a Greek, of a Greek temple. Look, these are the columns. This is a row of columns. Mm -hmm. This is the cella, the interior, divided into three different uh, rooms. First of all, two columns. You can see those two stamps of columns mm -hmm. inside the temple. Huh? After those two stamps of columns, there was a first room, quite a small one, where the faithful used to give the priests presents, votive offerings for the gods, as well as clay, statues, statues, vases, lamps, and so on. Well, only the priests and the initiates, the beginners, were allowed to enter the second room, the largest, the most important one, because containing the statue of the divinity to whom the temple was dedicated. As you can see in my book, in this diagram, here, through the mansion, within this room, in front of the statue of the divinity of the temple, priests and initiates used to organize secret rites, secret celebrations. And then there was also a third room, the smallest one, containing the treasure of the temple. Treasure consisting of the most precious votive offerings. Well, this was the inside structure of all the Greek temples in the world, more or less. We can say that by the Greeks, the temples were considered as the, the private residence of the gods. I, the early Greeks believed that their gods were really living inside the temples, and consequently they didn't dare to disturb the gods by making public sacrifices inside the temples.